Ambassador Sondland, by his own words, told us that everyone was in the loop. That means it is a criminal enterprise engaged in by the president, from what we heard today, the vice president, the secretary of state, and the chief of staff. And so this not only points to the corrupt nature of this administration and the need for these impeachment proceedings to go forward. Uh, sadly, we have a president who is not only a pathological liar, he is likely the most corrupt uh, president in the modern history of America. But we cannot simply be consumed by Donald Trump. Because if we are, you know what? We're going to lose the election. So let me just tell you what we can do with that two-cent wealth tax. Two cents on the top one-tenth of one percent in this country, and we can provide universal child care for every baby in this country aged zero to five. That is transformative. We can provide universal pre-K for every three-year-old and four-year-old in America. We can stop exploiting the women, largely black and brown women, who do this work, and we can raise the wages of every child care worker and preschool teacher in America. But the tax the way we're putting it forward right now, the wealth tax, I'm sorry, it's cumbersome. It's been tried by other nations. It's hard to evaluate. We can get the same amount of revenue through just taxation. But again, we as Democrats have got to start talking not just about how we tax from a stage, but how we grow wealth in this country amongst those disadvantaged communities that are not seeing it. Mr. Yang, if you win the 2020 election, what would you say in your first call with Russian President Vladimir Putin? <laughs> Well, first I'd say, I'm sorry I beat your guy. <laughs> no man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. It will be a big per No, I really mean it. I think the most recent example of your inexperience in national security and foreign policy came from your recent careless statement about how you as president would be willing to send our troops to Mexico to fight the cartels. I know that it's par for the course in Washington to take remarks mm -hmm. out of context, but that is outlandish. Well, do you seriously think anybody on this stage is proposing invading Mexico? That, that's not I'm what talking I said. About that's not what I 